Hello, everybody. Tonight is a little different. You're not going to see me tonight, which I'm sure some of you guys would be okay with. So let me just pull everything up here. It's taking a little bit to load. There we go. And how is everybody tonight? Now, I'm going to save comments for last tonight, but I will answer the comments. Just got to give me some time, but we're going to have some fun tonight. All right. Do, do, do. Come on. Come on. Oh, just passed you. Here we go. All right. Oh, let me turn that volume off here. There we go. So, hey, everybody. How are y'all doing tonight? All right. We got all of everything going up. So, tonight is going to be a little something different. You are only going to see my hands tonight. So, I'm going to move this sign over here and move it out of our way for right now. So, I'm Carolyn and I'm from Nona's Nutty Crafts. And tonight, hands. And what we're going to do, we're going to make these little these little guys tonight. Isn't that cute? It's a little angel. Now the focusing is a little bit off here, so let me see if I can swipe it in. And what I might have to do is adjust the camera back out because, because it's too close and it won't focus. So let's see if that'll work a little bit better. Oh no, don't want to That looks like it's a little bit better. Yes, it is. So we have this little angel here. Okay? And we're gonna make this little this little baby tonight. So, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So here we go, you guys. All right, so I'm just gonna set this little baby over here in front of me. So what we're gonna to need tonight, we're gonna to use two and a half inch ribbon. We're gonna have one that is cut at 10 inches long, and we're gonna have one that's cut at eight inches long. We are going to use one of the pipe cleaners or um, chenille stems, however you wanna phrase it. We're gonna take a bead, and these are, I'll say it's almost three quarters of an inch the bead and you can get acrylic ones as well but these ones here um, they're kind of like you take a hammer and you kind of indent it and it's kind of a little bit it's white like pearly iridescent and I really like this just for to give the angel some character okay so we're gonna use that tonight we're gonna use some of you know you always see those packages that have that thin string tied in a bow on an angle. So we're going to use some of that tonight. Okay. I'll leave that there. It's kind of hard to see. We're going to use some embellishments. And you can use whatever you want. It is really up to you on how you want to do this. Okay. So we're just going to have some fun with it. Alright. So I'm going to move some of these guys off in front of me here. Or off to the side. Now I'm also going to use this and the reason why I chose this you can get silver they have it in um, like a silver color or I didn't even find it gold but I'm going to show you by if you guys always remember I always save all my little pieces of pipe cleaners or chenille stems that I don't use and this is one of the reasons why is because this little piece is all that I'll be using probably even smaller than that all right for tonight I'm um, with it all right and like I said, the embellishments, you can use all different kinds to embellish on the front. I chose, this is a little button that I have here of a little flower. And you can use whatever you want. All right? So let's get going with our project for this evening. And like I said, I'm going to answer comments at the end so that we can get this baby going. Um, but I will answer as questions go by if you do have a question. So we're going to move all these out of the way and we're going to start with that 10 inch piece of ribbon. 
Now the first thing you're going to do, it has two pieces of wire on either side because you want wired ribbon. Now you can use any type of ribbon you want and I'm going to show you some differences. What you don't want to use is this type of ribbon. And if you guys can see this, this is what we call the wide ribbon on the edge as compared to the thin ribbon. Okay, the wide ribbon doesn't really work with this like um, foil edge on it. It just doesn't work for what we're going to do with this one. Okay, so I would say um, put that baby away. Whoops. Now you, I'm using two and a half inch. You can use any size ribbon you want. If you want to do it in a one and a half inch, and I just chose randomly some ribbons I had. These are all sheer ones, but you can also use ones that have, you know, it's solid base if you want to. It is really your choice on what you want to do for your angel. You can also, for instance, use this. This is the Dupani ribbon this is a four and a half inch so the bigger you go just keep in mind your head will have to adjust to the size of it okay and this is just bigger same thing and we're gonna make it the same way or you could make it the same way alright so those are just some other options for you that you can use and use your imagination on this okay what I'm showing you tonight is just one way but you can vary it however you feel um, you would like to do it. So what we're going to do, we're going to take one end of this and pull that wire all the way out. And I'm not going to need this wire at all, so I'm just going to tear it up and throw it away. Now on the other end of the wire, I'm going to pull it just a little bit so I have it out. I'm going to reach in for the other side and I'm going to pull that one out. Whoops. All right. Again, this is 10 inches of ribbon that we're starting with here. Now, if your ribbon has a right and a wrong side, make sure you use the right side the which way. And what we're going to make here is the little body. Okay, so we're just going to pull this. And I'm going to hold the two ends here and just pull this tight. So I wrap this wire around my fingers a little bit just because it does slip because it's so tiny. Now you can do um, jingle bells for the head. It is your choice. You can do whatever. All right. So I'm just going to take my clippers and just hold that there for right now. Now I'm going to take my bead and I'm going to take one long stem here of the pipe cleaner and I'm going to thread it through the center so whatever size bead you use the acrylic ones are lighter this is kind of a little bit of a heavier bead um, but the acrylic ones are a little bit lighter um, to use which is kind of a little bit better we're going to leave about two and a half inches here I do have a ruler in front of me so I'm just going to measure it out really quick and that's about two and a half inches there okay so that's where we're going to, I'm just going to bend it down just so that it doesn't move as much on me. Whoops. And now what we're going to create here is the rest of the body. Now I'm going to take a little bit about, let's say about that much and kind of leave it up there. I'm going to twist this a little bit. And you can take the legs and just fold them in half and do it that way. That's one way to do it. Okay. You can also do it where you crease the bottom here. To say okay that's about halfway oops got my guy tied up here so then what I'm going to do is go up that forms one leg come back down and I'm going to form the other leg this piece here I'm going to shoot up into the bead here and I'm going to glue it just a little bit now I'm going to cut a little bit of this off because it's just a little bit too long you can also wind it around here as well or shoot it up. Well, I'm just going to wind it and make it a little bit easier. We'll make it a little bit of a neck here for this little, this little gal. Okay. All right. So now we have two legs. Okay. As you can see, 
Now what I'm going to do with these two legs, I'm just going to squish them together because these little guys, oops, my little wire didn't go all the way around there. Hold on. Only went part way around. My bad. There we go. I'll just do it that way. There we go. And there's his two legs again. Okay, I squish them together because they're going to be used as something that we're going to use to hold onto. All right, so see there, it's not going to come out because I stepped up in there a little bit. This part here, we're going to make the halo. Now you can use your finger if you want to use a pen or a pencil to wrap it around. It is your choice. All right, we're just going to make it enough so that we can take this little piece on the end and we're going to wrap it around here just to finish it off. Okay, and then we form our little halo just like that. Look how cute that is. Now you can do iridescent on this, which gives more of a glowing type halo, but I'm choosing to use a gold one for it right now. So that's how we're forming the body and the head right now. All right, so we're gonna put that little baby down here. We're gonna go back to our dress here. Take that off. <laughs> And we're going to squish this as much as we can. Then we're going to take the two wires and we're going to tie them in a knot. And as we're tying it in a knot, we're going to make that little hole for this tighter. See how the hole is shrinking down? You can adjust your, I say, ruffles a little bit. But you want to make it as small to fit underneath your head. And you can pull these pretty tight. All right, so that's good enough for my little angel head. So then I'm going to take these and I'm going to tie them off. Pull it really tight. And tie it off again. Hold on. My fabric got caught up in there. Hold on one second. I don't want my fabric in there. Let me unwind this. Oh, come here. I think I wound it the wrong way. Hold on. Okay, and tie it. Just make knots. And you could do it just a few times, okay? And then we have our little dress. And then what we're going to do is take this wire here and we're going to twist it a few times. It's just like taking a chenille stem or a pipe cleaner and twisting it closed. We're going to cut off a little of the excess, throw that away, and we're just going to tuck that little bit underneath. Now with your dress here in the back, there's usually one part that looks like it folds over another. So we're going to just take a little dab of glue and put it right down there on the edge. And it does in just a little bit because this is see-through. We don't want the big globby mess. And you're just going to overlap the two of them and just hold it there. Now, if you have really hot glue, you may not want to touch it. Just pull it tight. We're going to take our body and slip our little body right through there. Okay, so we have our little body through there. The legs are what we're going to use to help hold our doll or our angel together. Now, you can take your angel at this point when you get to it, um, as we get a little bit further along, you can make it really bell looking like this, or you can make it more flat looking. It is your choice. We're going to attach the head, so don't worry about the head moving around there, okay? So we're going to just set that little guy off to the side right now. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the 8 inch piece. 
Now this we're not going to take out any of the wire. Okay, we're going to find the middle of this and I like to fold it in half and just to give me a little crease here so I know where the middle of the fabric is and then I'm going to take my fabric and I'm just going to overlap that just a hair and this is just to get me started. I'm pressing down on these and remember it's wire so it is forgiving. Okay and just like that. Now I'm going to take my glue gun hold on let me just go ahead and open this a little bit because we don't want them to stick together as far as um, these two pieces to stick together. Okay I'm going to take my glue gun the same thing just put a little dab don't glop it on there and we're going to seal these edges together. If you're just joining I'll answer your comments at the end. I'll try to look as I'm going. Um, ouch. It's a little hot, the glue. <laughs> and these are going to become our wings. Okay. So then we'll go ahead and we'll find the middle of this. Press it down a little bit. We'll get that little piece of glue off here. Oops, I have a pair of scissors. Hold on there we go and what we're going to do we're going to scrunch this up but before I do that I'm using this wire so you can really see what I'm doing it's harder if you do you know there you can get this in silver this is 24 inch gauge um, wire um, and we're going to just clip a little bit of this off okay And what we're going to do, we're going to scrunch this up like this. Make sure you're in the middle so that your bow will be even on either side, okay? We're going to take the wire here and we're just going to wrap it around. Oops, where are you? Okay, and we're just going to wrap this around a few times, and this is what's going to hold it together. You can take your wire, your um, pliers, and just scrunch it down, okay? Then we'll just fluff out, just like you would with the bow, and you would fluff out your wings. So this piece here it was 8 inches long, the ribbon. The body of the angel ribbon I cut at 10 inches. Okay, and we're making this, those of you that are just jumping on, we're making this cute little, little lady. See how cute she is? She's so tiny. If I go closer, you're not going to see her as well because she does get a little blurry. But this is a little ornament that you can make. So let me sit her back up here. Come back. There we go. All right. So, here's my little angel wings. Now, of course, we don't want this ugly little green wire sticking out here. So, this is where you have your little pieces that you can use. Or, if you don't, you can cut it off some more, um, you know, from a, a stem, a chenille stem. And all we're going to do is the same thing. We're just going to take, I'm going to leave a little bit on this one here because I am going to twist tie it together, so to speak. And I'm just going to wrap this around here. And this will help cover all that green wire. Wait a minute, piece. Here it is. And I just have it enough that I can twist it. If you don't, that's okay because you can get another piece and you can make a add to it if you need to all right so it's just like making a bow whoops let me slide that together there on that side I can always use this side I just like to make sure those pieces of the wire aren't sticking out and poking anybody and I'm gonna get a little bit more because that piece was just a little bit too short so 
So see, I can just add right to it. If I needed to do a little bit more piece, a little longer piece that is. Now these make great things that you can sell at craft shows because everybody likes that little something and they're great. You can, again, you can use any, oops, need my pliers, any color ribbon, but just, you know, when you're sitting there at a craft show, you can be making these. Again, let's just crimp that down. That's a little bit better. And we'll just straighten out the bow a little bit. To make our wings. Now we're going to go back to our little angel. I didn't glue his head on. So let me glue the body to the head here. So hold on one second. So we're just going to take a little glue and I put it on the bottom of the head here, just going around. Again, not so much that you're going to have it. Make sure you have the back of the head halo with the back of the um, dress. And I'm just going to turn it upside down a little bit here and just kind of hold that in there a little bit. Just to let the glue take time to set on that fabric. And then see, the little angel's not going to flop all over the place. I'm going to move you guys just a little bit up towards me a little bit. Because I realize I'm stretching across the table here. <laughs> Alright, there you go. So there's our angel so far. Now again, what I was talking about, the dress, we have one piece that's overlaid in the back. You can put a little dab of glue. i got glue on my fingers here. Um, but the, the wings are going to be back here, so you're not going to see. Piece of glue string. So again, what I was saying about the dress, see how it looks like a bell? You can do it that way. Or if you wanted it more flatter, I've got a lot of glue strings here. You can go a little flatter with it. It is your choice on how you want to make your angel. If you want to put some more pleats in it, just bring your finger down like this and you can add some more pleats. Just like this going around it. Okay? So again, your choice on how you want to make your angel look. But there she is. These little legs here is what helps you hold her. Okay? So now we're going to take our little wings here and we're going to put them to the back. You don't want to do it so it's on the back of the head because then her head's going to flop forward. We want to do it so that you can actually, you know, put it more on the dress or on, I say the word, a little bit of her neck, but not the whole thing. So let me grab some glue right here. I'm going to put some glue on the back of this one here. Whoops. Make sure you're doing it on the back of the dress. And flatten my dress out just a little bit and I'm going to put this right on the back of the dress again you can hopefully you can see I'm not putting it on her head okay I'm putting it below her head and then you can press from the other side okay so see we have our little angel so far now there's other ways you can go ahead and address around her neck, okay? You can choose little stones of sorts. On this one here, I used a button, oops, I used a little flower button on her. But if you didn't want to do that, you wanted something a little sparkly. However big you want to choose, I'm going to use this little, little kind of like iridescent silver one, just as something different to show you. And again, the size will depend how big you make your angel. Put some glue on it, and I'm going to put that right in front. So see, I'm embellishing her. If you want to use, you can make little bows if you want to do that. It is your choice. Now the legs, because I use gold on gold, I'm leaving the legs because I think it looks cute. If you don't want to use the legs, twist them a little bit, then you can cut them off really short um, inside if you want to do that. 
Now for my glue gun tip, this particular glue gun does have where I can do different sizes on here. Um, this is called Eileen's Ultimate Glue Gun. Um, and I can set it at two different temperatures. I have it kind of at the low temperature right now because this is sheer and I don't want to really burn my fingers as much. But um, I do have it where I have changed tips. This is the one I use 99.999% of the time on this. <laughs> so um, your glue gun is up to you what you would like to use. Um, as far as tip size, most don't come with tip sizes. But that was a glue gun I had received as a gift years ago. I forgot I had it, and now I use it. All right, so there's the back of her dress. Her little wings are on there, and we got just a little stone right there. And you have to pick out the little glue that goes on it. Now, some of the things you can also embellish, you can find on here if you want to. I'm not. They have little beads, and they're different millimeter sizes. And some you can find over in the sticker section that are peel and stick. I still recommend putting some, you know, glue on it um, just to make it make sure it stays on. So I could use these. I could, if I wanted to, around her whole neck, put like little stones going around in the front. Again, depending how big she is, depends how big your bead will be, but you can use these on her. You can go ahead, you can tell I have a lot of little things. Depending, you can use these for baby showers, for Christmas, for Valentine's Day, as anniversary, as thank you gifts at a wedding. You can make these for any occasion, like for a baby. If it's going to be a baby girl, maybe you're going to do pink, and you can do them all like this, and this can... These, this happens to be a little pink apple and you can change your ribbon out and you can do these as little thank you gifts um, to everybody. So you can use whatever you want, you know, to put on it. I have dragonflies, you know, so dragonflies are always supposed to be good luck. So again, use whatever you want. Um, I have like, as you can see, teeny little weeny buttons. So... Just have fun with it. Just have fun with it. That's what it's about. Crafting is all about having fun. All right. So now that we got the most part of our angel done. Now there's two ways or you can use ribbon if you want to. And you can put the ribbon around and use that to tie um, her up with. Or now um, this is really, really hard to see. So I'm showing you on the roll. It's, um, you can get what they call upholstery, um, thread. And if I'm going to see if you can hear this, this is like fishing line. Okay. Um, and it just keeps it so that the whole idea is to see the angel. So it's more, um, hidden, but what I'm going to use in this, I have this very, very thin, um, I'm going to call it cord like. Um, doesn't have any, it's not elastic or anything, but it's, it will go with this. So I'm just going to take this and slide this underneath her neck here from behind it. Whoop. And we're going to tie it from behind. Come here. And we're going to give it one tie around her neck, or two actually to hold it so it doesn't slide around. And then we're going to take the rest of this, and I'm just, this is probably a little bit too long, so we'll adjust it. And all you're going to do is make those knots. You know how you wrap it around your finger? You know, like you're tying off a balloon? And we're going to thread it through. Now, the distance from here is really up to you on how long you want to make it because this is what's going to be the hanger. Now, if you use the upholstery thread, you know, the, the upholstery thread, I would recommend making a couple of knots up here to make sure it stays. Then I'm just going to take the excess and just trim it down a little bit. And voila, you have your little angel piece of glue. <laughs> so see, 
two little angels. And how simple was that? That literally took us, what, about a half an hour to make. Isn't that cute? Now, if you want to do something and put eyes or anything on it, I'm choosing not to do anything like that because I don't want to embellish it that way. I just want the head to be there. You can change your bead colors. Um, like if you're doing these for a boy thank you gift, you can put a, bo a blue one. Um, if you're doing it at Christmas time, you can put bells on it. It's really up to you what you want to do. I'm just trying to fluff these out a little bit. So there's our little angels, you all. Aren't they so cute? So, that's it. And just, that is it for these little angels. Now, I do have another little craft that we're going to do. But that's a surprise. So, oops, this one got a little squished because I was handling it. So, that is going to be it for the evening, ladies and gentlemen. Just a quick little craft. For you to do and you know what you can find me at Noner's Nutty Crafts I also have a YouTube channel I'm on Pinterest Facebook and I do have an Instagram channel as well so there's our little girls all right so thanks for joining tonight and I'll see you guys next time on Noner's Nutty Crafts bye bye